neck bones, chitlings, ribs, pork chop, more like the country life. And not stuff from the can, more stuff from the uh, fresh stuff, such as purple peas and turnip green. It's fresh, fried green tomatoes. I soon realized that after I start interviewing Mama Jo, I can smell the food and everything looks so good, I may have to stop for a minute, but I decide to carry on. So you have all this selection and I see you just chose chicken. I didn't have all this selection, I just chose baked chicken. <laughs> Before I decided to interview others at the restaurant, I became slightly hesitant as I noted these signs and got kind of scared. But again, I went ahead and trudged on. That was Miss Julia. She really seems to be running the show, at least for today. Yeah, deep fryer. And now grill and stuff, and we carry our food, we made up in here. And that's practically what we do. From 5.30 until about 9.30, we try to get all our lights and breakfast out. Speaking of time, I begin to feel as if though I'm running out of it, at least for the interview process, as Julia and Mama Jo are getting rather busy, and it's approaching close to 12.15 here. Coming in between 12 and 12.30 because when I'm busy, I always start getting. So right now it's coming into crunch time, huh? Uh-huh, right now it is coming in. Yeah. I got here before rush hour then. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, you got here way <laughs> before rush hour. <laughs> yeah. I uh, rush hour just finished private style a little bit. That other woman you saw in the kitchen with Julia is named Rose. She's just come from Africa and is kind of learning the ropes around here and how things work. Rose, what do you like about being here? <laughs> what do you like about being here? Oh. What do you like about being here? Oh, it's good. Food? You like, you like the people you work with? I've set the background noise um, to mute. And that's because maybe that's how Rose is feeling when I'm talking to her. Um, her English is not very good and her understanding of what I was trying to ask just really never came across. And that's why you can see uh, Miss Julia is being her interpreter really and I almost felt sorry for Rose here but she was a uh, good trooper. After several interviews I began to walk around and explore a little bit and um, I realized just how much family uh, really meant to Mama Jo. Each of these posters um, on the wall in the restaurant are, um, you know, of similar theme but can be important and appreciated by people of different ages and are the types of things that really you could only have in your house and usually get away with, like a children's Door of the Explorer poster. I begin to stare at this jar, a uh, jar of syrup on this heater and Something was just special about it. I want to cook for you, baby. Give you something good to eat. I want to cook for you, baby. Give you something good to eat now. You'll be my spicy and hot I'll be your sweet, sweet, sweet
sweet iced tea I wanna cook for you, baby Give you something good to eat I wanna cook for you, baby Give you something good to eat now Well, you'll be my spicy and hot I'll be your sweet, sweet, sweet iced tea I'll cook you biscuits in the morning, jelly on the side, barbecue at lunchtime with a cold drink and some fries, snacks above the midday, if that don't do you right. I'll cook you cornbread in the evening, love you real good at night. I want to cook for you, baby, to please your appetite. I want to cook for you, baby, to please your appetite. something good to eat now I wanna cook for you baby give you something good to eat you'll be my spicy and hot I'll be your sweet 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 iced tea some folks have been coming to Mama Joe's for years now and it's that family atmosphere and food that brings them back I uh, just asked my friend here about the veggies. They are wonderful. I run Betty Davis Barbecue. Mm -hmm. You heard of that one? I've heard of it, but I've never been there. Okay. But uh, most I come here, I know Mama Jo. I've been knowing her for, I guess, 12 years or more. And uh, I come here for the vegetables. Yeah. You just usually get a veggie plate? Huh? You get the veggie plate usually when you come well, in? I get vegetables and sometimes I get other, <laughs> other food. But mostly for the vegetables. Yeah. What is it about the vegetables that you like so much? Well, I'm 64 years old, so I got to try to eat right. <laughs> 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 so it's just a matter of health. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it tastes pretty good, too. Yeah. Then. yeah. Okay. About how. How long you been coming in here? About how often a week you like I've to stop by? I've been coming in often, you know, off and on. I'm so like, in when I come to Oxford to pick up some parts or something like that, I'll stop in, you know, and that's pretty regular. Okay. Uh, it's regular enough, I don't forget about it. Right. <laughs> so you, you don't just come for the food, you come to for the friendship, the friends you have here too, to yeah, say hello. Yeah, friendship and, you know, like I said, for the best. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this down home place, you know, feel comfortable being here. Definitely got some good food, that's why I come here. Like a home cooking. So uh, I come here kind of pretty regular. But just the food and the hospitality that I like here. And how many, about how many days you come in here, you think? Probably out of a week. A week. Well, two or three times a week. Okay, it's yeah, pretty good. Talk, so. It's my favorite place to go eat. <laughs> so when you're in town, when you're oh, yeah. right in, in the heart of town, you come in here? Yeah, not far from the university. You know. <laughs> right. Take that jump, get that food, and go back to work. Just chill out. In here. Oh, the atmosphere. Friendly. Everybody's friendly. And it's family. What kind of stuff do you eat? I mean, what do you look forward to eating when you come here? A good home cooked meal. Good home cooked meal? Good home cooked meal. <laughs> it's like being in the home, but you get to get out, yeah. still get that meal, huh? Yeah. Okay. What, uh, how many days a week do you eat here, you think? Um, when I'm here, probably three days, maybe four days a week. I'm a truck driver, so I'm okay. in and out. Of course. I don't get home cooked meals until I get here. Okay, so you really take advantage of it when you I come sure in here? Do. I wanted to hear from people who had never been to this restaurant except for today and learn why they came in and really what they were expecting. It was Cheap lunch spot. 
and um, always appreciate some good soul food for sure. Um, I expected it to be really delicious and my expectations have been exceeded. What'd you get? I got the fried chicken, I got black eyed peas and mashed potatoes and gravy and it's all really, really good. I'm glad to have a good fried chicken place in town because you can't really get good fried chicken except for like Popeyes. It's like authentic. Yeah, more yeah. Than anywhere you can expect someplace like Ajax or something to have really good fried chicken, but they don't have it. So now I have my fried chicken spot. I didn't speak with any other near timers, but I'm sure there were some hiding about. But I did witness one last remarkable moment with Mama Jo, and she suddenly became Dr. Jo. I'm checking blood pressure for getting Mama Jo. I ain't got nail lice. Dr. Jo? Mama Jo. Mama Jo. Dr. Mama Jo? Mama Jo and Dr. Jo. As I spent time with Mama Jo, I began to realize that she truly was a mama, and a grandmother who cared about people deeply and just wanted to make their day a little bit better with a smile or maybe a piece of fried chicken and a laugh. I want to cook for you, baby Give you something good to eat I want to cook for you, baby Give you something good to eat now You'll be my spicy and hot I'll be your sweet, sweet, sweet iced tea I wanna cook for you, baby Give you something good to eat I wanna cook for you, baby Give you something good to eat now Well, you'll be my spicy and hot I'll be your sweet, sweet, sweet iced tea I'll cook you biscuits in the morning Jelly on the side Barbecue at lunchtime With a cold drink and some fries Snacks above the midday If that don't do you right I'll cook you corn bread in the evening And love you real good at night I wanna cook for you, baby To please your appetite I want to cook for you, baby, to please your appetite. Well, I want to cook for you, baby, give you something good to eat now. I want to cook for you, baby, give you something good to eat. You'll be my spicy and hot, I'll be your sweet, sweet, sweet iced tea.